So, many of you have noticed that there's a few cars that I have that haven't made any appearances on the channel of late, and in the video that we did not too long ago, talking you through our collection, that there were a couple of cars absent. Well, it's then no surprise to some of you to know that I have actually sold three of my cars in the last three months. The simple fact of the matter is that I do not have the finances to run five cars. And I desperately needed to turn the herd, A, to get some space back, B, so that I had the time to enjoy all of the cars that I owned, and C, just to free up some money, because since I moved to try to do YouTube fairly full time, I don't have an awful lot of income, so basically I need to get money where I can, and having a lot of it tied up in five different cars was not great. So, in no particular order, the cars I have sold are our E34 5 Series, we called Callisto, the lovely V8 thing. It was a great car, super comfy, a lovely place to spend time in, but it did drink like a fish, it was enormous, and to be honest, I just didn't find myself using it all that often. Laurie actually used it for a little bit to go to work and back, and then I decided really that we should get something else to kind of run about him. We then wound up getting the MG, which we still have, and that kind of replaced Callisto for all of those sorts of runabout duties. It's not quite as refined and as comfy, but it's still a nice car and will be a lot better once we've finished working on it. And there will be an update on that car soon. I then sold my Blue XL. Again, a car that I really, really liked, but I wanted to spend more time and money on it, and I had neither of those things. So I mentioned on the Lotus forums that I was thinking of selling the car, and I had loads of people within the Lotus community come to me who wanted to take on the car and basically finish off the job that myself and the previous owner had started in bringing it back to its full glory. So that car's moved on to a guy that I know is going to really enjoy it and really look after it. So I'm happy that that's happened, and it's gone to a good home. Finally, a few weeks ago, I sold my Elise. I've been toying with the idea of selling the Elise for a little while. Basically, winter is coming, and to be honest, winter is nearly here now, and chances to enjoy the car properly over the winter period were going to be few and far between. Plus, to try and use that as a daily type car, it's just not very well suited for it. You know, getting in and out is a bit of a faff. You're trying to do stuff quickly, move about, get shopping, all that sort of stuff. It's just not that great. And it is a noisy, loud, rattly, tinny place to be. And I've got a job at the moment teaching where I have to drive a long way every week. And basically, I need somewhere nice and comfy that I can be, that I can also make phone calls and things with Bluetooth and so on, should I need to. And that's simply never, ever going to happen in the Elise. And there's a lot of money tied up in one car that could be used much better elsewhere. For example, helping out the business I've started up, Magnitude Events, or taken over, rather. And so that car then went to a gentleman who's very closely related to Lotus, has always wanted an Elise, and is also, I know, going to really, really look after that car and enjoy it. So the Elise is now gone. Uh, a few things happened, and I now found myself on the lookout for a new daily driver because the only two cars I was then left with were the Evora and basically my share of the MG. I also had an XL project car, which you may see at some point, but that is in many, many pieces in a barn somewhere and is nowhere near ready to go. And to be honest, even when it is, if it's ever finished, not gonna be daily driver type thing. So I had to basically find myself something a little bit more economical and possibly quieter than the MG as a daily. So that's what I'm currently on the hunt for. I'm also thinking about branching out a little bit and possibly getting myself something JDM or something else a little bit different. And as I'm going to be doing about four or 5,000 miles over the next couple of months, I just need something to get some miles in that's not going to be the Evora because I, you know, I don't want to be too worried about putting a lot of miles on the Evora, but by the same token, I'm not going to put 5,000 miles on the motorway on that car because I'm not going to enjoy them and that's going to defeat the point of having the car. So I want to drive it less and enjoy it more is the idea with that car. And I have been enjoying it a little bit recently. And I, there was about three weeks when I didn't drive it at all. And you get back in it and it's just so, so good. So those are the cars that's gone. And there are going to be some more, probably another car on the way soon. And you guys will know about that when it happens. So there you go. For those that are wondering, that's what the situation is. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.